Okay, so this video is going to cover the beginning of chapter 6 of geometry, specifically 6.1 and 6.2. So by the end of this video, you should know the measures of the sum of the angles both within and outside most polygons. So we're going to start with some conjectures. So the quadrilateral sum conjecture says that the sum of the measures of the four angles of every quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So, for example, if we have a rectangle, we know that we have four right angles, so they're all going to be 90 degrees. So, 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 adds up to 360. So, that proves this conjecture. Uh, then we have the polygon sum conjecture, which says that the sum of the measures of the n angles of an n-gon, so however many sides it has, is 180 times n minus 2. So 180 times the number of sides uh, and subtracting 2 from that. So for example, if we wanted to figure out the sum of the angles in a pentagon, we could say, so that's going to be 5 angles of a 5 or pentagon, so that's going to be 180 times 5 minus 2. So that's going to be 180 times 3, which is going to be 540 degrees. So we can use this knowledge in uh, problems such as this one. So if we have this figure connected to this figure, uh, it might not be completely to scale, now that I'm just drawing it here. Uh, and we have some measures given to us, and some to find. Um, so if we're asked to find G and H, and we're given these, so we know that in a quadrilateral here, um, it's going to add up to 360, so 360 is going to be H plus 66 plus the right angle here, which is going to be 90, and then this angle, which we know that if we go around all the way here, it's going to be 360, just like if you do a 360 degree turn, you go all the way around. So this angle right here is going to be 360 minus uh, 130 and minus 108, which is going to equal 122. So then if we know that this is 122, then we can complete our equation here. And then if we subtract all of these from 360, we end up with um, H equals 82 degrees. So now we have our first measure up here. And then to find G, we just figured out that a pentagon adds up to 540 degrees. So now we know that we need 540. We need to subtract the angles that we know here. So minus 117 and minus 108. That comes out to 315. And then we can see here that these angles are all congruent. So we need to divide by 3, and that comes out to 105. So G is 105 degrees. So as you can see, we used our knowledge of the sum of a polygon's measures to find these missing angle measures. So now we have some more conjectures about the exterior angles of a polygon. So first we have the exterior angle sum conjecture, which says that for any polygon, so that could be a quadrilateral, a pentagon, an octagon, whatever, the sum of the measures of a set of exterior angles is 360 degrees. Um, so that's, for example, if we have a pentagon over here, then this set of exterior angles is, so all of these angles are going to add up to 360. And then we have our equiangular polygon conjecture, 
which says that you can find the measure of each interior angle of an equiangular n-gon by using either of these formulas. So we have either 180 minus 360 divided by n, or 180 times n minus 2 over n. So let's do a practice problem where we use this knowledge. So if we have a regular hexagon, so pretend that my drawing skills are a little bit better and that these sides are actually congruent, and then we have an exterior angle, and then we have variables a and b, and we're asked to find the measures here. So there are two ways to go about this. Um, so first we can try to find b, so we know that the exterior angles are going to add up to 360. So say we had some more exterior angles here. Um, we know that they'd all be congruent to B because it's a regular polygon. So this is going to be the same as B. Um, so then, and they're all going to add up to 360. So we have six of the same angles here. So what we can do is just divide um, 360 by 6 to get 60 degrees, and that's going to be what B equals. And then to find A, we could either just say that, well, if you look right here, they're supplementary, so A is going to be 120. Or if we didn't know what B was, then we could use the formulas we just learned. So, for example, um, we could say that 180 minus... 360 over 6, since there are 6 angles here, um, is going to be the measure of each interior angle in a regular polygon. So that is, that's going to be what A is. Um, then we get 180 minus 60, which of course comes out to the same thing, 120.